hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing question two of the september 2022 paper and as usual i am going to be reading so please bear with me because the information we have here is quite a lot so i'm so sorry that i had to write in pencil i know a lot of you asked that i minimize my use of pencil because you can't see clearly but I had to make a distinction between what I wrote during the analysis, during the reading time, as well as what I did during the writing time. So I'm so sorry for that. So we are on question two. And the first question, okay, and question two says, Best Pipes Limited LTD is a company involved in the manufacture of plastic pipes. The company's manufacturing plant is situated in the industrial area of Long Bay, Johannesburg, then they give us the number of authorized shares. And then that's not important information because I know what the question is asking. For the company to enter, but you just write down the background information and this is what you were given, right? So you have to write it down and you're given your shares in terms of classes. Okay, it says on the additional information that for the company to enter the export market additional funding, additional funding will be required for it for it to be competitive and effective to supply the demand. The board of directors have decided to source funding from the general public by issuing shares. So the following transactions relate to the issue of shares which occurred during the financial year ended 30 June 2022. On the 1st of September 2021, so on the 1st of September 2021, an additional 100,000 Class A shares were offered to the general public through a prospectus at a market of at a market price of six rand per share. So, hundred thousand class A shares were offered at six rand per share, right? And we are told that the shares were oversubscribed by fifteen percent. So shares were oversubscribed by fifteen percent, and you were told that, and the cash together with the application forms were received by the business. So they received applications on the first. Right. So when they receive the applications, what journal entries would they process? So the question is asking you to process the journal entries necessary for question two. So what journal entries would they process today? Because they received applications and they received cash, they would debit bank, right? And then we had 100,000 shares. However, they oversubscribed, meaning the company offered them 100%, but they once had 115,000 right so you're gonna say hundred thousand shares times 115 percent times six rand because they were offered at the price of six rand and this is going to give you six hundred and ninety thousand right so that is the first you know entry that you would process okay let us continue reading it says the unsuccessful applicants the unsuccessful applicants were refunded their money on the 22nd of september and the allotment, okay, on the 22nd of September, they were the oversubscribed shares were refunded their money. So remember, you wanted to sell only 100,000, but you ended up selling only 15,000. So you would have to take 15,000 shares times 6 rand, and you would get 90,000. So you need to debit your application's account because remember, it was increased, right, by 690,000. So you would have to decrease it by 90,000. And then you would have to um, decrease your bank by 90,000 as well. So that is the transaction you would do here as well as here. The question continues to say that um, the allotment of shares was finalized for the successful applicants by the 30th of September. So allotment occurred. When the allotment occurs, what do you do? You take the successful applicants and you now add them as part of your share capital. So you'd have to reduce the applicant's account. So you debit applicant's account with the 600,000 and then you would credit, um, the, I wanna call them class A instead of ordinary share. So you would credit class A. If you check, you've debited applications account with 600,000 and you've also debited it with 90,000. So the full 690,000 actually gets um, taken out. And then you, the 600,000 gets introduced into your class A shares, right, with 600K. So that's the general entry you would, I'm not sure if you guys can see, you would debit applications, right, with the 600,000. And then you would credit. Just want to make sure you guys can see. The 90,000. And then you would credit bank. 
if you haven't subscribed please make sure you click that subscribe button thank you right okay so we're done with the general entries that will be posted for node one node two says on the first of december so on the first of december i made an error because there was no space on the first of december 2021 an additional 50,000 class B shares were offered to the general public. So they offered 50,000 class B shares to the public at a market value of 20 rand per share at 20 rand per share. The prospectus specifically said that a minimum of 10,000 shares need to be taken up by the public. Failing to do so will result in no shares being issued and any monies received would be refunded. So they wanted to sell a maximum of 50,000 and a minimum of 10,000. So if they received applications for less than 10,000 shares, they are not going to be any shares being um, alluded, right? However, people will still bring in their applications. So let us look at what happened. So it says that the subscription was undersubscribed. So it was undersubscribed by, okay, it was undersubscribed. There's only 7,500 shares we applied for. So they needed a minimum of 10,000 shares, but they only got 7,500 shares. So the money of these shares were banked by um, 15 December. So on the 15th of December, what general entry would you um, have processed? No, when you offered, when, when they subscribed, right? So on the 15th of September, you received the money. What would you do? You would say debit bank 7,500 times 20, right? So it would be 150,000. Then you would create an applications account, 150,000, when they applied for the shares, right? And then it says that the money was banked, right? Okay. As the terms of the issue, as the terms of the issue, as stated in the prospectus, have not been met, have not been met. The applicants were refunded their money on the 22nd of December. So on the 22nd of December, you had to refund this amount of money because um, the minimum number of shares were not sold. So you would have to repay them and sell zero shares. So you'd have to debit applications account to get rid of this account and you have to credit bank, not by 144 plus by 150, by 150,000. And we, how did we find this 150? 7,500 times 20, right? So that is the second transaction you would make. So you are done with this one. You are done with this one, right? So that is how you would process note two. Note 3 says a capitalization issue was undertaken by, by Best Pipes, excuse me, on the 1st of June 2022. Okay, so on the 1st of June 2022, a capitalization issue was undertaken. Um, and it says that under the capitalization issue, existing class A shareholders, right, existing class A shareholders only would receive one share for every two shares hold. So one share for every two shares hold held so it's one over two at the price of one rand each i'm so sorry um at the price of 10 rand each okay so it is 10 rand right so it's 10 rand okay um so basically what happens with a capitalization issue and I'm sure you guys know that you need to pay your shareholders, right? So instead of declaring dividends, what you would do is that you would sell, you would pay your shareholders in the form of shares instead of giving them money, right? So you'd still have to debit your retained income, but instead of crediting bank, right? Instead of or instead of crediting shareholders for dividends, you would credit your class A shares because you would increase their shares. So let me repeat. A capitalization issue means that instead of paying dividends in cash, you are paying dividends in terms of shares. So you would have to debit your retained income and then you have to credit the issue of shares because um, those shares are being increased, right? So you'd have to credit your class A shares. So this is going to be a million. Okay. All right, then we are done with the capitalization. Oh, okay, before we do, we, before you go anywhere else, they said class A shares. So you have to go to class A and count the number of shares till date. So on the 1st of September, you had 100,000 shares. So it's 100,000. Plus, you also had um, other shares. Remember that these, these ones, the 7,200 shares were cancelled off because you had to refund 
the shareholders so these ones do not get counted and then you're going to have these hundred thousand shares sorry okay and then you're going to have this hundred thousand shares and then your shares will be two hundred thousand Okay, wait a minute. I need to check something. Okay, I saw my mistake. So they are talking about class A shares, right? Not class C shares. So I can't add the 100,000. So it's just going to be this 100,000 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 10. So <clears throat> it's going to be 100,000 times 1 over 2 because they said you get one share for every two shares times 10 and this is going to give you 500k so yeah okay um I'm, I'm 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 continuing with the question question four which is the last journal entry that you would have to process so remember here you did it retained Earnings, right, with the 500k, you need credit class A, excuse me, shares, with the 500k. I think you guys can't even see what I'm writing. Sorry. I'm trying to save time on the video. Right, so, yeah. Okay, Um, the last transaction says in order to attract further capital from small investors hundred thousand plus c shares of one rand each were offered to the general public on the first of march 2022 so on the first of march 2022 class c shares were actually issued to the public and how many were they hundred thousand shares at one rand each right it says that the directors were unsure of all the shares that would be taken up and did not want to risk an under subscription Best Pipes Limited entered into a contract with Ensure Bank to underwrite the subscription. Let me pause there. So the concept of an underwriter is that, so basically what happens with an underwriter is that you issue shares to the public and you use what we call an underwriter, which is basically kind of an agent, but a special kind of agent because they will sell shares, you will, you will sell shares to the public. Let's just say you are selling 100K shares in this case, for example. And then if the public buys less than that, let's say they buy 60,000 shares, the underwriter now has the obligation to take up the 40,000 shares. So you as a business, you will just still be selling 100,000 shares. It's just that the under, if, if you have an undersubscription, the underwriter is going to take up the undersubscription. Right? However, this comes at a fee, and we call that an underwriter fee. And it is never it never goes to expenses. It always gets written off either on the um for example on the ordinary share capital in this case they called them class a shares so in class c so it's going to be written off under class c shares um or sometimes you are told that it has to be written off under retained income so never goes to your statement of profit and loss okay let us continue so remember we are told that they want to sell hundred thousand shares at one rand and they use an underwriter. So Ensure Bank charged a commission of 6% on the value of the shares issued for their services. As I said, it comes at, a, at an underwriter fee. So the fee is 6%. Applications together with the money received for 85,000 shares by the 15th of um, March 2022. So on the 15th of March, you received applications. What happens when you receive applications? You need to credit the applications account. You debit your bank with the 85,000 that was received. Now, that means the underwriter needs to take up how many shares? 15,000 shares, right? So, um, what then do we do? Um, okay, let's just read what they said. So, they said the bank took up the balance. Which bank? And short bank, the underwriter. The bank took up the balance of class C shares and paid their proportion on the 20th of um, March 2022. So, people subscribed only to 85,000 shares, right? And as I said, you debit bank with the 85K credit applications with the 85k now the underwriter has the obligation to take up the remainder right so they said that the under the underwriter paid immediately so it debit bank right with the 15000 
15k then you would credit applications because there's no allotment that has occurred so with the 15k right so the question continues to say that best pipes limited immediately paid and short bank the commission to the commission to so after the underwriter paid the account we paid um the underwriter the six percent to so the six percent is always on the full amount of shares initially so it's going to be hundred thousand times one times fifteen percent right times six percent so it's going to be hundred thousand shares times 100 times six percent which is going to give us six thousand so you would debit underwriter right so it debits under writer with the 6k then you would credit your bank with the 6k as well right so that is what would happen okay okay um and then it says that the allotment of classes were finalized on the 28th of march so on the 28th of march you of March, you had allotment of shares. So when you're allotting the shares, you would have to debit. Now you need to get rid of the applications account, right? In total, how much do they make? They make hundred thousand. It's five k plus fifteen k. So it debit applications account. Account with the hundred k. Right, and so then you would credit um class C, right? I'm gonna call them class C. Class C with the 100k okay and then as i said the underwriter will not be taken to pnl as an expense it needs to be written off against that share um account so in this case you would have to debit this one i write it so to get rid of this expense i need to expense it where this expense it's not even an expense i need to get rid of this account the temporary account in the class C shares so I would have to debit right it's a cost so it's going to decrease my class C shares so I'm going to decrease my class C shares right by the 6,000 and I'm going to get rid of excuse me this underwriter account so I have to credit under writer with the 6k so just make sure that you guys can see what i was writing credit applications account please make sure you've subscribed if it helped please make sure that you comment so that i know whether i should continue with these videos or not so that it helps you guys okay this brings me to the end of the video guys see you guys in the next video I think we have one more question to go, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Bye, guys.